Hi everyone, my name is Plan. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the cloud shell commands in Google to create a visual machine. If you are new to shell or Google Cloud, I recommend you to go through the tutorial about how to use Bash and Linux command line to get familiar. To get started, you will need a Google Cloud account. If you don't have one already, head over to the googlecloud.com and sign up for a free account. Here I already own the GlobalCloud.com. What you have to do is paste that free and then you have to go through or the account information and payment process. In my case, I already have my Google Cloud account. What I'm going to do is switch to my Google Cloud console. Before we start to create the virtual machine, you have to know that Google will charge you for any projects that you use on Google Cloud. So I recommend you to go through navigation menus, billing, and check the overview of your billing account before you start the projects. Okay, let's get started with the how to create virtual machines. Here I'm going to go back to navigation menus and then go to compute engines. You can see the small box uh, on the right hand side here. It says activate cloud shell. Uh, click activate cloud shell and just to check the active account name, you can list the active account name with this command. Then you have to click the authorize. The way you do that is you are type this command. You will see that uh, your account, Google Cloud, has been activated by going to list out your uh, Gmail account. Uh, the second thing, uh, before you go along, you need to have some understandings of the regions and so on. So you can check on the link below this video. In this case, I use the US Central's ones at the region and so on. Just important that both must be in the same zone. And you have to verify region and so on every time when creating VM. You can also set the option govern by use, uh, that's that zones. But in my case, I prefer to, pref uh, to verify the zone every time before I start the project, just for my own understanding. So let's do it. Ah, sorry guys. You can see here it should have updated property compute slash zones. This means your US Santos one zones has been correctly verified. The next one just verify your regions by using the same command. Yep. Your region has been updated successful. And the next step, you use the cow command to create a visual machine instance from the command line. And you have to use this command. I will set the name of project as uh, glab5 and then machine type to e to mediums and then wait a second yep you will see that the the virtual machine has been successfully created. Uh, just to break down or up this, uh, this is a new instance that has this default value. The first one is the names of the instance called glab5. is the name of the virtual machine that I just created and the zone was reelected to us. Dash center one dash 
A, which is a specific the geographic regions where we want the visual machine to be located, and then machine ties, uh, what set to E to does mediums. And one thing that you should know is that the names of the root persist and this will also be set automatically at the same names of the instance. Okay, here we come to the last steps. Um, this, the next one will be the command about how to connecting to your visual machine. And now that we have a visual machine, let's connect it to it. To connect to a visual machine, we will use SSH. Run the following command to connect to your visual machine. And then gcloud compute ssh and then follow with your instance name. Wait a second. Here you go. Now your uh, success that one connected with your visual machine by using ssh. Uh, you can see the difference here. Before your account was uh, directly of your account was is cloud shell and now the directory change to the project instant name lab files that mean it was success to create it the way to exit this uh, shell you just type exit e x i t and one thing that you should have know that the uh, your uh, instance project will be show up here here i already have one the instance which is not related to the program so I will just reload the site yep you can see here now I have a GLAB file instance name here and another way is to connect it to your visual machine is go to HSH click it and then it's gonna connect directly to your visual machine command line And then you can type anything that you want. I here I'm gonna type who am I? Yep. So now you're successful and connect to your visual machine and that's it. In this video we learn how to use batch shells on Google Cloud to create a visual machines. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. So have a nice day. Bye.